you have a legal duty to make sure that the individual behind the wheel remains competent to drive. What should you do? And the process doesn't end once you've hired these drivers. A negligent hiring is merely one element of negligent entrustment. There's also what's called negligent retention. And that is that you have a legal duty not just to make sure that the individual behind the wheel was competent to operate your vehicle at the time that you hired them, or, or the time that you hired their company on, to, uh, to drive for you, but also that, that that driver remains competent to drive that vehicle throughout the entire time that he's behind the wheel. What does that mean? It means that you'll need to conduct yearly reviews of every single driver that you put behind the wheel. Even though they aren't your employee, you'll need to conduct the same type of yearly review that you would if they were your employee. You'll need to perform the same type of analysis on the company itself that's providing employees. And this is a critical process. Uh, if you fail to conduct regular yearly updates, you risk the, the chance that one of your uh, drivers will actually become incompetent during that year, either because they pick up a DWI or they have too many moving violations or any one of a number of things. But at any point, that driver could very well become incompetent. And assuming that he's not your employee, you're trusting that the company that supplies him to you will do the right thing and terminate him or at least take him off of rotation. And you're entirely at their mercy if you're not doing your own analysis. It's only by doing the yearly review that you can verify that that individual remains competent at all times. And if at any time he isn't competent and he isn't in an accident, you're looking at punitive damages.